The film unfolds 89 days after an alien invasion has devastated the planet and decimated most of humanity. These monsters are blind but possess acute hearing which drives them to hunt wherever they detect noise. The Abbott family, consisting of parents Lee and Evelyn, along with their children Regan, Marcus, and Bo, venture into a deserted town far from their home in search of supplies. They meticulously minimize their noise and rely exclusively on sign language for communication. Evelyn carefully examines a cluster of uncollected prescription bottles to find medication for her eldest son, Marcus, who is unwell. Evelyn administers the medication and uses sign language to reassure her deaf daughter, Regan, about her brother's well-being. Regan, in turn, checks on her younger brother, Bo, who is busy drawing a rocket on the floor. Bo signs to Regan and tells her that they will use the rocket to get away from the creatures. He then climbs the mostly vacant shelves to reach for a space shuttle toy. The toy slips from the shelf, but Regan swiftly intercepts it before it hits the ground. Meanwhile, the family's father, Lee, scavenges some electronics for a radio that will enhance its signal and acquires cutting pliers for Regan. Evelyn signals to her family that it will be dark soon, so they prepare to depart. Bo holds the electronic space shuttle toy in his hands, which Lee carefully takes from him, removing batteries. He signals to his youngest son. It's too loud and leaves it on the counter. As the family departs, Regan secretly returns the toy to Bo who grabs the batteries on his way out. The Abbots silently make their way back home along a sand trail they've created. As they reach a walking bridge, they suddenly hear the electronic sound of the space shuttle toy from Bo, who is at the rear. The toy starts emitting noise, drawing the attention of nearby creatures. However, Regan, being deaf, remains oblivious to the sound. Lee places Marcus on the ground and hurries towards Bo, but he is too slow and Bo falls victim to one of the creatures. The scenes transition to a few months following the incident. Evelyn finds Regan lying in the fields of their farm and gently guides her back to the house. Lee keeps a watchful eye on them and the entire farm using a surveillance system he has installed. He has also taken notes on the creature's blindness, armor, and attraction to sound, confirming the presence of at least three of them in their immediate vicinity. Lee then proceeds to turn on the radio and transmit sauce. Signals through Morse code, although there is no response. Marcus pretends to drive the broken-down truck parked in the fields. Glancing in the rearview mirror, he spots his father approaching. Lee calls him over and instructs him to return home where a pregnant Evelyn eagerly awaits. Lee then climbs atop one of the silos and reminisces as he looks through a memory box dedicated to Bo. Back in the barn, Evelyn prepares for the arrival of their child, while Marcus and Regan cover the walls with newspaper to soundproof the room. As the sun sets, Lee ignites a fire on top of the silo to signal the neighboring residences, and they respond by doing the same. While preparing dinner, Evelyn sends Regan to alert Lee. Regan hesitates but ultimately complies with her mother's request. That night, Lee, Evelyn, Regan, and Marcus gather around the dinner table, hold each other's hands in prayer, and share a meal. Following dinner, Regan and Marcus engage in a game of Monopoly. Amidst the excitement, Marcus accidentally topples the oil lamp, igniting a small fire swiftly extinguished by Lee. Yet, they hesitate to breathe a sigh of relief, fearing that the noise may have attracted the creatures to their home. Something scuttles on the roof, prompting Lee to peer out of the window. Fortunately, it turns out to be a couple of raccoons. After this, Evelyn joins Lee while he's working on an amplified hearing aid for Regan. She pulls him away from his work, and the couple proceeds to dance while listening to Neil Young's Harvest Moon. The very next day, on October 3, 2021, Evelyn checks her blood pressure as she's due to give birth in just under three weeks on the 20th. She then listens to the baby's heartbeat. Meanwhile, Regan navigates the house, carefully stepping on the green paint marks on the floor to avoid making any noise. Just as she's about to head to the basement, Lee swiftly pulls her away. She questions why she can't go down there, and he expresses his fear that she might make noise. He requests that she stay out of the basement. He also provides her with a cochlear implant that he has fashioned from a radio amplifier. However, she refuses the cochlear implant, insisting that it won't work, as they never do. Regardless, he places the cochlear implant in her hand and departs. Evelyn homeschools Marcus, currently focusing on teaching him math. Their lesson is cut short as Lee informs Marcus that it's time to go hunting. Marcus is apprehensive about encountering the monsters, but Evelyn reassures him that his father will always protect him. She explains the importance of learning these skills so that he can take care of himself and their family as they grow older. Evelyn watches as Lee and Marcus depart. 
However, Marcus expresses a desire to stay behind, while Regan volunteers to join her father. Lee insists that Regan should remain to assist her mother. After a farewell kiss to Evelyn, Lee leaves with Marcus. Then, Regan enters her room and spots the cochlear implant her father crafted, resting on the bed. She switches the device on, but as anticipated, it fails to function. She proceeds to pack her book bag with additional clothing, a book, Bo's toy shuttle, and wire cutters. Meanwhile, Lee takes Marcus to the river where he has set up homemade fish nets for catching food. Lee briefly loses control of a fish, causing it to splash into the water. Marcus is on the verge of running away in fear that the noise might attract the creatures, but Lee explains that the river's loud rush of water masks the smaller sounds. Evelyn ascends the stairs with a bag of laundry. The sack becomes snagged on a nail, and she struggles to free it. Although she eventually succeeds in dislodging the sack, she unknowingly exposes a sharp nail on the staircase. Meanwhile, Lee takes Marcus just below the waterfall, where he shouts loudly without concern for alerting nearby creatures, assuring Marcus of his safety. Afterward, Marcus asks his father why he didn't permit Regan to accompany them and if he blames her for Bo's death. Lee insists that he doesn't blame anyone, but Marcus informs him that Regan blames herself. Lee explains that it was no one's fault. Marcus then asks if his father still loves his sister, to which Lee affirms that he does. In that case, Marcus advises Lee to tell Regan that he loves her. Meanwhile, Regan retraces her steps to the bridge where Bo tragically lost his life, a site where her family has created a makeshift grave and memorial. She retrieves the shuttle from her bag, carefully snips the wires that caused the toy to make noise, and places it by his grave as a tribute. Meanwhile, having caught some fish, Lee and Marcus make their way back home and encounter an elderly man standing beside what appears to be his deceased wife, a victim of one of the creatures. Lee implores the man to remain silent, but the anguish becomes unbearable, and he lets out a loud scream. Lee swiftly scoops up Marcus and seeks refuge behind a tree as a creature arrives and kills the man. Unexpectedly, after spending the day in Bo's former room, grieving and reminiscing, Evelyn's water breaks. She descends into the basement, inadvertently stepping on the exposed nail from earlier, and accidentally dropping a glass picture frame from Bo's room. The shattering sound draws the attention of nearby creatures. Evelyn gets scared and to signal an emergency, she changes the exterior house lights to red, which is a danger signal. As she does this, Evelyn notices one of the creatures moving around upstairs. Meanwhile, upon returning home, Lee and Marcus spot the red lights and hurry to the farm. Evelyn grabs a timer and hides behind the wall as one of the creatures descends into the basement. As the timer goes off, Evelyn seizes the opportunity to rush upstairs while the creature is distracted by the noise. However, she is compelled to flee upstairs after spotting another creature just outside the house. Meanwhile, Lee hands Marcus a flashlight and tells him to launch the rocket in order to lure the creatures away from the house. As Evelyn's contractions are getting stronger at the moment, she is forced to lie back in a bathtub and remain calm and quiet while the creatures move throughout the house. Meanwhile, Marcus runs into the field, where he sets off the fireworks the explosions providing a loud enough noise for Evelyn to scream without being heard. Armed with a loaded shotgun, Lee makes his way into the house and follows the trail of blood to the bathroom, where he finds Evelyn lying in the shower with their newborn baby boy. Meanwhile, Marcus is startled by the sounds of the rustling leaves in the cornfields. He gets scared and flees in the opposite direction wandering aimlessly before knocking himself out from running into a tractor. Lee carries Evelyn and the baby back to the barn and heads underground as the child starts to cry. Then, Lee puts an oxygen mask on the baby and places him inside a wooden crate, where his cries are muffled. Meanwhile, Regan makes her way home after noticing the fireworks. She sees a light coming from within the fields and stops. Unbeknownst to her, one of the creatures stands just a few feet away. However, her hearing aid produces some kind of high-pitched frequency that scares the creature off, but it also inflicts a fair amount of pain on Regan as well. Meanwhile, Evelyn awakens from a nightmare with Lee standing at her side. He assures Evelyn that she's safe and that the creatures can't hear them underground. Evelyn then asks about Regan and Marcus, who are still outside somewhere. However, Lee intends to find them. Then, Evelyn looks over to their newborn baby and blames herself for losing Bo. She then makes Lee promise that he will protect their kids. Meanwhile, Regan follows the light on the ground to Marcus and embraces him. In the meantime, Lee returns to the surface to find Regan and Marcus. Regan and Marcus make their way on top of a grain silo and set fire to hopefully catch their father's attention. But they run out of lighter fluid and the fire dies. Still, Marcus is certain that their father will come for them. Meanwhile, Evelyn awakens to find the basement flooded by a busted water pipe. She looks over and sees her baby's crate floating. 
and just a few feet from him stands one of the creatures that have made their way into the basement. Evelyn creeps over to the crib and retrieves her baby boy while mere inches from the creature. She slowly backs up and hides in a corner. Lee arrives at the tractor where he finds the kid's bag. Meanwhile, Regan wants to leave as she believes that their father will only come for Marcus as he still blames her for Bo's death. But Marcus insists they wait for their dad on top of the silo. During their argument, Marcus attempts to stop her, but he falls through a trap door into the grain-filled silo. One of the doors falls just a couple of inches away. Lee watches this from the top of the tractor and spots one of the creatures charging towards the silo. After falling into the silo, Marcus begins to sink into the grains like quicksand, so Regan dives in to give him a hand. They use the steel door as a resting platform. During this, one of the creatures then jumps down into the silo, but just like before, it flees after hearing the whining feedback from Regan's hearing aid. Meanwhile, Evelyn makes her way back to the house with her baby boy, and Lee rushes over to the silo and embraces Regan and Marcus. However, the creature is still near so, Lee sends the kids to the abandoned truck while he grabs an axe from the tool shed. The creature slashes at Lee, leaving a large gash across his chest. Marcus then calls out for him, but Regan pushes Marcus back into the truck. Regan then starts hearing feedback from her hearing aid and it becomes so unbearable that she turns it off. Then, the creature attacks the truck. Seeing his kids under attack and with what little life remains in him, Lee pulls himself up and screams out loud to distract the creature, but not before signaling to Regan that he loves her and that he always has. After the creature charges towards Lee and rips him apart, Marcus takes the truck out of the park and it rolls down the hill to the house, where they run into the arms of their mother before running into the house. Evelyn leads Regan and Marcus into the basement. She sits Marcus in a corner with the baby as Regan examines her father's notes on the creatures and on his experimentation with several different implants, which bring tears to her eyes. A creature then makes its way into the basement, and Evelyn holds it at gunpoint. During this, the television static sends the creature into a frenzy and Regan then realizes that the high-pitched frequency from her hearing aid is the creature's weakness. After this, she turns her hearing aid on, causing harm both to herself and the creature. The pain becomes even more excruciating after Regan places the boosted implant on a nearby microphone to magnify the feedback that it collapses. Painfully disoriented, the creature exposes the flesh beneath its armored head and renders itself vulnerable to a shotgun blast from Evelyn. They manage to kill one, but the sound of the gunfire draws more creatures in their direction. Now, with newly acquired knowledge of the weakness of the creatures, Regan begins to use the cochlear implant on the microphone and Evelyn loads her gun. Prepared to fight back. The end, thank you for watching. Be sure like our channel and subscribe if you enjoy content like this. Also let us know what movie you would love us recap for you.